Welcome to the Daily App Show iPhone Edition. Today we're going to take a look at BTV. This application allows you to create customizations for the TV that you watch. And this app does it for you by taking what you like and giving you suggestions. So I've went in and entered the provider that I have for my local television, which is Comcast. I went ahead and did that, entered my zip code. Under more here, I can go into my settings and change that information anytime. You can see here I put in that information, I put in my name and my password, and a little bit of information about myself. So right now it is giving me some basic suggestions as to what to watch. So I can choose and look at those right now. You can see here that we've got different things going on, different channels. So I could tap on something and see perhaps Pineapple Express, which is a movie that's on, and uh, it lets me know when that movie's coming on. It allows me to go ahead and view more information about that movie right here. I can give it a rating, so perhaps I'm going to rate it five stars because I did see it and I like it. I can add a comment and also view other sources on this as well by tapping right here and it's going to go and gather other sources. Um, so we've got Netflix, uh, Encore Action, and of course where we can get it on iTunes if I wanted to buy this movie on iTunes. So let's see, it says 83%. Let's take a look at that and see why it gave us a recommendation of 83%. So it says that it was generated based on the following ratings, and before that I had only had Dexter selected, which of course I love that show, and so I gave it five stars. And so it gave me an 83% recommendation based on the fact that I like Dexter. So right here, I can tap on Q, and I can add a reminder here, or I can add it to my Q. And what's cool about this is that it's going to use push notifications to remind me of when this show is going to come on. So now this app becomes more than just a recommendation tool. It becomes a tool that allows you to remember what's going to be on. Because, of course, unlike things like Netflix and, of course, having movies on our DVR or something like that, when it's on the television, we need to know when it's on and we watch it. And if you don't have a DVR or some way to save that stuff and, and not watch it necessarily when it airs, then you're going to need something like this. So I can go ahead and add this to my queue, and it's going to show up in my queue. I can see similar by tapping on similar, and it's going to give me some similar shows. Uh, of course, I'm looking at a lot of shows like, you know, that have similar actors and, you know, that are fun as well. Knocked Up, I Love You Man. Uh, so we've got lots of movies here that we can take a look at. And it also lets us know where they're available. You'll notice here that Half Baked is only available on iTunes, web, iPhone, iPad. It just doesn't happen to be in the lineup on television anytime soon. But here are some other ones that are. For example, I Love You Man is on this channel at that time. So I could tap on it, and it loads up that show, and I can view that show and all the information on that show as well. Now, next to that similar button that I tapped earlier is the Share button, which allows me to share this with any of my contacts, and then it also allows me to tweet it and Facebook it out to my friends so that they can see what I'm going to be watching, perhaps even join me. So let's go all the way back. So now we have some sources we can filter here. Show me just TV, web, or iPhone only. Show me a time. And then, of course, we could just turn filters off altogether. We have these filters here, so we could select genre, mood, type, duration, rating, free only, high definition only. So that's nice to have as well. All right, so this is our recommendations here. We can also go in and do a search typing in a search of a movie name or anything that would show up in that movie. We can view all of the popular shows here. So we're now seeing the popular shows like the show Hoarders and, uh, you know, different movies and different things. You've got a specific Sopranos episode that happens to be very popular, different shows. So it's not only showing us what's on TV, it's also showing us what's popular on iTunes as far as downloads go. So that's kind of cool that it gives us more than just what's on our actual TV channels. 
From time to time, there are special deals on shows and movies. So, for example, like The Hurt Locker, which is a great movie. You can see it's on special right now for $3.99. Or one of my favorite movies of all time, The Big Lebowski, for $2.99. Definitely, definitely good prices for some of this stuff. And even we've got a CSI uh, free episode here, Gossip Girl free episode. So you never know what you're going to find. Mad Men, my favorite show right now, um, besides Dexter, is Mad Men. And, of course, it's showing me all of these good shows that I can watch. Under the More section, we have our favorites we can view. We can go and look at our reminders, which, of course, we could turn off if we didn't have any or we didn't want to get reminded. Uh, we can turn those off temporarily. So BTV is a must for your iPhone. If you're a TV watcher, you like shows, you like movies, but you're having a hard time figuring out what's on or when it's on or remembering when it's on, I think this application is going to work out great for you. And then also on top of that, it's giving you recommendations, letting you know what you may like based on other uh, reviews and information. So definitely check out BTV in the App Store.